welcome back to today's video. I am going to take a day trip to Vienna today and I thought I would document it for you. So um, that's what we're going to do today. It's currently 7.40am. I have just boarded my train, which I got for such a good price and I got it for business class guys. Like this is awesome. I've got a full cabin for myself got myself some coffee, got myself some pastries for the road and I'm going to be editing a video. Um, yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the video and I can't wait to show you guys where I lived for a year and where I, you know, like what I did for a year when I lived in Vienna. So, update. Um, the ticket inspector lady came and she asked me if I wanted to get a free reusable replacement mask because I lost mine, oopsie, <laughs> and you need to wear one on the train. And she asked me if I wanted to get a, um, a free coffee and free sparkling wine. Mind you, it's 8am <laughs> on a Thursday. <laughs> Of course I'm going to go for free, free sparkling wine. And with that said, let's talk a bit about balance. So this trip home has been absolutely amazing. I've been taking it a bit more relaxed than usual in terms of eating and training and getting steps done. Just because I have not seen my family in so long and I really wanted to spend quality time with them. So um, obviously I'm still being mindful about what I eat, what I put in my body. Um, and how much I exercise and what I do for exercise but it's just been a bit more relaxed uh, which has made my trip so different and so much better than usual because sometimes I just travel and I tend to put so much pressure on myself to follow my plan so perfectly when I'm taken out of my routine that it ends up giving me anxiety like proper anxiety so this time around I just prioritised eating as much protein as I could, um, still hitting 140 grams a day um, and I am currently on 2,600 and 2,800 ca uh, calories depending on what day it is, whether it's a training day or a rest day. So I've got plenty of room to like, you know, move around in. Plus I've got an off plan every week so I used that off plan to go to a Michelin star restaurant with my mum and my sister which was our first ever girls night and it was such a fucking wonderful experience we had a 12 course tasting menu uh, they got the chef's menu I got the vegan menu and we paired it with a wine and champagne pairing so it was just so wonderful and and it made me and it made me think about how sometimes most people actually think of fitness and bodybuilding in such a all or nothing way that it's insane like you don't have to be on track 100% of the time bodybuilders don't have to be on track 100% of the time as long as they are mindful and they're following their plan 85 to 90 percent of the time they're gonna be fine and when it's time to prep it's time to prep and it's time to go and it's time to be 100% perfect. Like, there are so many different seasons of life and you have to know when it is a push season and when it is a pull season because when it's a push season, obviously you're going to push 100% but when it's a pull season, there's no point in forcing yourself to push to be 100% perfect and miss out on so many amazing things in life because in life you're not here to be slim, you're not here to be shredded, you're here to actually enjoy life and to have fun, make connections and live. So uh, yeah, my trip home has been absolutely fucking wonderful. I can't wait to get to Vienna honestly because I'm seeing a friend that I haven't seen in more than two years. Um, and I'm going back to my home gym where I used to train in Vienna. So uh, I'll take you guys with me. We're gonna hit a uh, back and delt session. Unfortunately, one of my friends who I really, really was looking forward to meeting up with, he's got a lot of work today, so we can't train together. But with that said, I'm gonna go, 
is the ticket lady is waiting right outside for me to finish. And um, I'll catch you guys in a bit. and I am ready to hop off this train. I just wanted to record this clip before I have to put my mask on um, because in Vienna it's still compulsory to wear masks on trains and public transport and in certain public areas. So I just wanted to make sure that you can lip read because I know that for a lot of us, like even myself, lip reading is important when you see someone. I packed all my things up. I'm ready to hop off this train and just go and have fun. I just find it so crazy that I lived here for a full year, about two years ago, and I have not been back ever since. Like, it just baffles me. And it's only because of COVID. I literally have planned to come back here every two, three months because I genuinely like the city. I had a really rough time when I was here, but I genuinely freaking love the city, especially the gym, uh, which you're gonna see later. But um, yeah, I just haven't been able to come back. Also, just wanted to give you a little insight about where I'm going and where we will be going first. I'm going to go surprise one of my friends who owns a coffee shop here. We met during my year abroad when I lived here and um, he made the decision to go on a business venture and open a really, really cute coffee shop. So if you're ever in Vienna, make sure that you visit Cafe Wilhelm. It's one of the cutest places and I'm so happy that I could be there in the beginning stages of the opening of it. He doesn't actually know what time I'm coming, so it's just gonna be a surprise. <laughs> Ooh, bless you. I'm gonna get some work done, about an hour or two of work done, and then probably take him out for lunch, and then go gym, get some more work done, and uh, then I'll head home back to Hungary. I have no clue where exactly I have to go. I mean, I'm just trying to figure out where I have to go and try to remember, uh, testing my memory. <laughs> currently on my way to the U-Bahn, which is the underground, to get a bit closer to the gym. And then I'm gonna walk there just to make sure that I get some steps in. And I'm probably gonna surprise video call one of my best friends who used to live with me in Vienna. So uh, it's been a good day so far. I'm just super, super tired because I'm running on like five hours of sleep and maybe five coffees at this point so I'm just gonna get another monster again do as I say not as I do this is a perfect example for that okay so here's a bit of a story for you this is where I used to live when I was on my year road I had a little studio that I fucking loved. It was about like 20 square meters and um, it's right next to the amusement park in Vienna and the Prater, which is one of the biggest um, parks in Vienna. I decided to get off earlier than where I was supposed to and just walk it because 
I've got such fun memories of this place. Like I used to get steps here all the time. It was not a great period of my life, but I, uh, I loved walking around because there was just so much greenery. So we're gonna go that way. And um, I'm gonna show you which way I walked every single day. I'm back home. <laughs> you know, this is so exciting. I've literally not been back here for two years and this is where I spent most of my time trying to fix my mental health. <laughs> Man, it's just so nice.
done with training, caught up with a friend, and now it's time for me to handle a quick coaching call. Um, and then I'll head downstairs to catch up with some other friends, see who's around, and I'll go to the train station to go home. Ways, which I'll tell you all about once we're on the train because my train leaves in 20 minutes exactly so I'm gonna go find out where it leaves from get on it and then check in with you It is the 15th of September and I'm back in London. I'm not in Hungary anymore. I'm not in Austria anymore. I have finished my trip home. So, um, and I totally forgot to record anything after I got on the train. So here we are catching up. <laughs> I just edited the footage by the way and I am so happy with how it turned out. Honestly, like I just, it was such a good day that I spent there, so I really hope that you enjoyed the video too. I realized that I mentioned a couple of things in terms of it being therapeutic for me to be there for that day, and I thought I would just sit and chat to you about it because I feel like it needs some clarification and it relates to something that I'm going to talk in a, talk about in a future video, so why not do it now? So basically, going back to Vienna was very therapeutic for me because it made me realize that some of the, me the memories that I had about it and some of the judgments that I had about Vienna were very much up to my mental state at the time, not they weren't very rational. So um, the thing about my time in Vienna, I was there from 2018 September to 2019 July. I was living alone for the first half of the year abroad that I spent there. I was with Gavin and I'm so, so fucking grateful to have had him there. My time in Vienna was very, very tough, especially because after I, I, like I finished competition prep and I was reversing out, I was getting my driver's license. And after about one or two months of me being in the city and living there, my parents have announced that they were getting a divorce. So that was fun to deal with. At the same time, because of a lot of stress and because of that uh, my eating disorder got triggered and I don't talk about this quite a bit um, like I don't talk about this a lot and I'm going to make a separate video about it but it just got triggered and I was um, in no time I was literally elbow deep into it and because I was living alone in a studio and I felt alone and at the same time I was just very close to the situation because my family literally was two and a half hours away it was just a very, very trying time. And during the day trip, I realized that some of the memories I had of Vienna were really not inherently bad. They were just put in a bad light because I was not in a great mental state. So me going back there and actually experiencing Vienna because I wanted to be there and actually catching up with friends was absolutely amazing. And it was life changing. And it made me realize a lot of things, not just not just the fact that I absolutely love the city, but the fact that I want to be there more. And it gave me a new sense of direction. So I just honestly, like, I'm so grateful that I did that day trip. I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to catch up with so many people and to go back to my old gym. And I cannot wait to go back. Um, with that said, I'm going to end this video here. I'm just going to edit this last part of the video and render it and then go to bed because it is quite late and your girl has not been sleeping enough ever since she's got back to London. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that we can go on a lot more adventures like this together in the future. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment your favorite gym down below because I want to explore more cities around the world 
with amazing amazing gems so leave your suggestions in the comments below and make sure that you hit that subscribe button just to support your girl and um, I shall catch you in a bit have a lovely lovely day and I'll talk to you soon